Hey guys, um, so I don't know if this is actually gonna happen or not, or if it's actually really going on, but um, I've been trying to keep this a secret for a long time, especially from Josh, and Josh hasn't known anything about it yet, so I'm just like trying to secretly hide it from him for a minute. But um, in May, like the first week of May or two weeks for May, I was having major painful cramps and I was like, okay, so I'm getting ready to start my period, so yay, that's awesome. But then I started, but it only was for one day. And it wasn't coming, you know, not going to put little details in there, there because that doesn't sound right. But it wasn't really doing very well. So it was just coming lightly. So I'm like, okay, so this is awkward, this is weird. And right before that happened, I had a lot of S-E-X with my husband, the word, I spelled it out because I don't want to say it, but we had a lot of it around May. And we were trying, we we're trying for a girl really bad. But <laughs> the thing is, is that ever since the first week of May, and when I officially thought I was going to start, and then next thing you know, like, it stopped all of a sudden. I was just, like, freaking out because I didn't know what to do. So, I just pretty much told myself, like, okay, so this is kind of a little freaky. I was like, I'll give, I'll give it a few more weeks up until June. First week of June hit, I'm not on it still. So, I'm like, um, okay, this is kind of weird. Because my actual first one I started when I first started, when I thought I was pregnant, I would think it was when we went to, um, when I was on it, we were on, uh, we were going to the birth control, birth, birth rate, and they told me I wasn't pregnant then. And so, I started, I think, around my birthday, I don't know, which was February or January, I don't remember when it was, when my last one was, but I do know it's when we went to birth rate. And I, they told me I wasn't pregnant, so I was like, okay, so this is kind of confusing. But then a few months later, May comes in, I figure, I figure like, I'm going to start again. doesn't happen, only a couple drips coming from redness. And up until June, the week, still had started, so I'm still waiting for the rest of this month. Um, once this month in, and then I come into July, and I still haven't started. So I'm going to give it to the third week of July or maybe the second week and if I haven't started that's when I'm going to tell my husband I'm like okay so we need to figure we need to talk right now and if he's like what's going on I'm like we might need to buy a pregnancy test and he's gonna be like confused or something I'm gonna tell him he seems like why I'm like well if you haven't noticed I hadn't started my period in a while and I have been dealing with two things that are actually things that really, well, actually three things of it. I've been having to go to the bathroom a lot, which is number one, very bad because that's actually something frequently you have to do when you're pregnant. Second, I have been feeling very nauseous after every time I eat. So every time I eat, I have been like, you know, like I had to go to the bathroom and eat, you know. Um, third is um, being very, very extremely tired. Like when I come to work, I'm tired, and when I get off work, I'm extremely tired. So, like, after today, I'm going bowling, but I might be too tired to do anything, because, you know, I haven't told my mom yet. I might tell my mom first, and before Josh, maybe me and her can secretly go to birth break, but I might just tell her, let's not go to birth break, because sometimes their tests are just going to say negative all the time. So I was just telling her like if we do if I tell her first I'm like let's just do a home test first and if it says pregnant maybe I'll think about going to birth rate. If not, then I'll just tell her I'll just tell her like why don't we just go to an OBGY and have them check. Cause I'm gonna just tell Josh first because it's easier for me to tell him first because he hates surprises. But if he like asks me to do anything or anything special. I might just tell him, it's like, well, I'm not really in the mood to do that. I don't feel good and I don't really want to do it. And I'm tired. And if he just looks at me like, you have been tired and not feeling well for the past few days. Are you feeling okay? And I'm like, I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It's just I'm very tired and I don't feel good. And if he says anything, I'm like, honey, if there's something wrong, I'm going to, I want to know.
no. And if he says, well, are you feeling anything weird or anything? I'm going to be like, no. Honey, it's just that I don't feel good and I'm tired and I want to go lay down. So if he like mentions anything about, well, do you, are you thinking he might be pregnant? And then I'll be like, I don't know, okay? So quit asking me these questions because then it's eventually going to come out and be like, well, I don't know if we are because there's three symptoms I'm dealing with right now but with that is nauseous, which I'm doing now. I'm very extremely tired and then having to go pee a lot. So I hadn't done this. Is, it's very confusing. So you guys probably won't hear another video of this until around July when I'm just like, okay, so we might, I might be pregnant again with my second, I might be pregnant with my second kid this time. It might not be a lie, but the first time I checked, I swore to goodness it said I was, but apparently they said, uh, birthright said I wasn't, and I'm like, it's probably because birthright always says or the pregnancy death half time always comes out negative. But anyway guys, I have to probably go back soon to work. Tired and exhausted. I already got yelled at by somebody, uh, by a customer today. Um, which I'm going to explain that because you guys don't really need to hear that. All I know is that I'm nicknaming her Corolla the Bill because that's how she acted towards me. So, <laughs> but anyway guys, I will talk to you guys later. Maybe when I get home or tomorrow. And I will give you guys more updates around July. See what's going on. But... Hopefully Josh doesn't freak out and find out on his own that I might be pregnant, but we'll see what happens. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.